right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily content, and let's get right into it. I already know what my regulars are saying. They're saying, Jay, hey, Jay, Jay, listen, man. This ain't 2K. This ain't 2K rumors and news. This is not a jump shot video. This is none of that stuff, man. Like, why? Why are we watching this? Why are you doing something like that? And My answer to you guys is I would be crazy not to drop a video like this because that boy Travis Hunter and Dion going to Colorado, all that news is hot as fish grease. And like I said, I have been a casual Jackson State fan, probably ultra casual, you know, compared to most people, for the better part of 10 years because one of my partners, he went to Jackson State and when he got there, he would always be talking about the football team and all of that stuff. So I kind of got invested probably about 10 years ago and, you know, by proxy, by way of him. And then obviously when Dion got there, man, everybody became a casual fan. And I'm not going to tell y'all that I'm one of them, I'm, I'm a diehard fan or anything like that of uh, Tiger football. I'm just going to tell y'all straight up that I became, a, I, I was a super casual fan via my partner that went to Jackson State. And then when he graduated, uh, you know, I just became, you know, I, I just became a, a, a little bit more attentive, casual fan. And then when Dion got there, you know, you know, we just, you just, you, 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 you got more eyes on it because that's what he does. It's the Dion effect. Like my, like my dog bat say, man, it's the Dion effect or the primetime effect or whatever y'all want to call it. So that's, that's my story. That's how I even got there. And that's why I feel like I got a unique perspective on this whole thing, man, because he's right there in Jackson with his ear to the ground. And, and he just knows, he knows everybody's emotions. He knows what everybody's feel, feeling like. He knows what everybody's going through, man. He, it's just like, like some people are mad. They got a right to be mad and, and upset. And then some people are just cool with it because they knew that Dion, Dion and a lot of the players that he brought, they were there for a good time, not a long time. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? So I can understand both sides of the story. I can see both perspectives. If you're upset about them leaving, I, I definitely understand because they did say, he was gonna be there for a long time and help raise up the entire conference or what have you. He never, if he didn't say it, he definitely gave the impression. But you can't even get mad at that because that's what you got to do in college football. It's like, it's like in college football, we all know that a coach can go anywhere at any time, and it used to be that the players couldn't go anywhere at any time. They couldn't follow him. Now that the rules have changed a little bit, uh, you know they can do that more and more. But it's always been you sell a kid on the idea that you're gonna be there for his entire four years knowing that if something else happens, you could be out of there gone tomorrow, whether it be a better situation, whether it be a high paying job, any of that stuff, uh, all of that. So I understand why some people are upset, but at the same time, it's one of those things like nobody gets into coaching to stay where they are. But at the same time, he did say and make everybody, like this, this is what it is. You don't get upset when somebody said, like if I said I'm about to go down there and raise up Jackson State football and, and by proxy raise up the entire uh, the entire SWAC and HBCU football, y'all are laughing at me and y'all are write it off. But when Dion said it, it made a difference because he actually had the power to do it. So, and he was doing it. It's like, if you say something, you got the power to do it, but you, you really don't do it. And you know, but he was doing it. And you and you can kind of see that, that 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 mind that mindset was starting to shift and change a little bit so i think that's why a lot of people are upset but that's another video for another day because i want to talk more in depth about that but right now we're here to talk about that boy travis hunter man he made his decision or at least the first part of his decision but he did make his decision he's entering the transfer portal and uh he pretty much says that he's he's telling y'all where he's thinking about going where he's probably gonna go all that good stuff man we're gonna look at, we're gonna check out this video here real quick and uh we just gonna listen to that young man talk, and I'm gonna tell y'all about my experiences. You know, learning about Travis Hunter and all that good I'm stuff in a second. For a new home, and I'm gonna take my time out in this decision and go ahead and just wait my options out. I don't wanna just rush into nothing, jump into nothing. Yes, everybody want me to follow Coach Prime, but I wanna follow Coach Prime too. But I need to know if it's a fit for me, then I'll go. If it's not a fit for me, I'm not going. I just want everybody to know that, make everything clear. So, yeah. Not, not saying I'm committing to Colorado right now, or I'm never gonna do it. I'm just letting you know that's not in my plan as of right now to just go jump and be on the team. I'm just waiting my options out. And again, thanks Jackson, Mississippi. I'm going to show you what love and support. Everybody that came out and supported me, everybody that came out and took pictures with me, I appreciate everybody. Next, yeah, I don't know what's next. 
for real. <laughs> I, like, I've been thinking about this hard, long, all the this whole week, and like, since Coach announced that he was leaving, I've just been thinking about this hard. Some days I couldn't go to sleep, some days it was just hard on my mind. I just ain't know what to do. But as I'm talking with my family and doing what I had to do, is enter the, the best decision for me was to enter the transfer portal because that's what I needed to do. But anyways, that just what I had to say for y'all and let y'all know. Yes, I have entered the transfer portal, but I don't know what's next. Goodbye. See y'all later. And that sounds like a young man that's got a good shirt, a good head on his shoulders, man, because he's saying. I do want to go follow Coach Prime. I, I didn't think want Coach to Prime go. was going to say on, anything. I thought, I thought, that's my boy. Hey, that's my boy Matt B. Great right there with the prime time effect. My bad. He came on down. But listen, he's got a good head on his shoulders. He said, I don't want to rush into something. I got a couple of places where I'm thinking about going. A lot of people are saying that, you know, he's thinking Florida State. Uh, I've heard a couple of people say USC. Uh, we definitely know that Colorado is the front runner. Uh, in that whole thing. He's just saying, is that going to be a good fit for him? I don't know if this whole thing is a smoke screen, and he actually knows exactly where he's going. He's just trying to make sure that all of the things lined up, whether it be, you know, transcripts and all of that good stuff. I think I'm, I'm sure that they won't have any issues making sure that that works out. But I don't know if the whole thing is a smoke screen. I ain't going to lie if he came down here to Georgia. I'm, that's where I'm from. I'm from Georgia. I'm a Georgia fan. I've been a Georgia fan my whole life. And like I said, I root for Jackson State because my partner went down, man. But look, I've been watching Travis Hunter and his highlights and stuff like that because you can't find it. I, I, you can't, you, there ain't no high school football zone, football games that I can find on the, uh, on the internet. But I watched a lot of his highlights, man. I've been following his social media for a good little while. And like I said, bro, he seemed like a good, good young man with a good head on his shoulders. And uh, he's just trying to make sure he makes the best decision for him. So he's entered the transfer portal and he said, you know, he hasn't, he didn't kind of leak or say what he's leaning toward, but we already know, like he said in the video, he did say one school that he was leaning toward, which was Coach Prime at Colorado. And again, I believe that's going to be the front runner. I think that's where he will ultimately end up. And I think that's probably going to be the best place for him because who better to teach you how to be one of the best two-way players in the nation and or the best I mean, right now he got the he, he has the opportunity he could be one of the best receivers on the team because we already saw him lighten it up against nc central uh the other day uh in, in the celebration bowl even though they lost but that pass that he caught in the end zone uh at the end right after he dropped the pass he had he made two good catches to keep that drive alive and then the one that he made after he dropped the pass when they came back and you absolutely got to get it on fourth down I want to say that was fourth down. Yeah, it was fourth down. Uh, he dropped it on, yeah. So on fourth down, you absolutely got to get it. That's when stars are made, and he showed. He answered the bell. He answered the call, man. So I feel like he's going to be successful wherever he goes. He and, Sha he and Shadur were, were easily, easily the top, you know, the, the cream of the crop on the field that day. And uh, if he goes to Colorado with Shadur and, and uh, Coach Prime, I feel like we're going to be seeing something special. For, for a good little while, man. I could be completely wrong. But uh, like I said, I wish we would have got, got a chance to see more of Travis Hunter this season. But he was in the walking boot. You know, I, they said it was a high ankle sprain. And, you know, Coach Prime didn't want him to play as much because he's like, you got your whole life and your whole career ahead of you. It ain't no reason to set yourself back a year trying to get out there a week early, man. So, you, hey, listen, you know, you're playing, you know you're playing for somebody that has your best interest at hand because your best interests align. And like I said, man, that's a weapon, and they already signed a couple of other weapons out there this week. And like I I, I just, I feel, I understand if you're upset if you're from Jackson State and, and that local fan base, but I feel like those are the only people that really should be upset. I feel like everybody else, hey, you should just be happy for them guys. They moving on, moving on up. And we're going to get to see what they what they do at the next level. But if you are a local fan, I definitely understand why you're upset. And, uh, you know, why you got an issue with it and all of that good stuff. And, um, hey, just know, just, just know that you're not wrong. But two things can be true. And, uh, you know, this is true. Hey, he can be doing the best thing for him. And you guys can be mad or or upset about it. And, and rightfully so, man. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all drop a like. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please, guys, please.